Hi everyone, <coughs> I'm going to show you how to split columns by using SAS. First of all, you need to find where SAS is and then you can open it. If you have a shortcut on your desktop for SAS, you can double click on it, but if you do not have it, then you can find it from here, from the start menu. And then I would click on SAS Enterprise Guide. Yours will be 9.4. That's what they have in the university, on demand for academics, 32-bit. And if due to some reason in my video, uh, my cursor is showing somewhere else, and I I just want to let you know that I am double clicking on this um, icon that I just mentioned. I will double click on it. And then um, please select your home region as United States one, your username. Mine is my um, email address that I used for uh, creating an account. And then my password I would enter. This is the password that you uh, use to make an account uh, on SAS. I'll click on uh, connect. And then uh, in SAS here, you have three parts. On the left-hand side, um, you can see um, this will be um, the progress, the items that you will open and then Underneath, you have servers. You can also have tasks here. I somehow deleted it. So mine is, um, I, I have to find it from somewhere else, but here you will have task, categorical format, and you can also search for a task for different with its name. And also in the middle, you have, uh, you can create a new project from here. Don't worry about everything else. You only need to create a new project from here for this uh, task or for this course. And then on the right, you have recent item. You don't need to worry about it. Okay, so click on create a new project. And then again, um, here it shows you um, the progress that you are, um, work that you are doing. So from the file menu, I will import here, I have it's written import data. I was a single click on that. And then um, you can, from your hard drive, you can choose the location of the data set. Um, that you want to use. So mine is this directory and I want to use this file, employee phone directory. This is the file that I want to use for this task. I will share this file with you. Double click on it and it's um, loading. Please wait, be patient. Sometimes it's slow. Here you have source data file. Uh, this is the path of this file on your hard drive. And here you have the path of this file, which has been uploaded to SAS server. Um, here in a SAS server, it will be on in uh, SAS app, library, work, uh, with this uh, file name, employee phone directory. You can also change its name and also its location. So let's leave it like that. I will click on next. And then here it shows you that the first row has field names, so just, um, leave it like that, it's checked already. And I want to use sheet number one. So let's not only click on uh, next instead of anything else. And then here are the first few rows of my file. So let's click on next because I don't want to change anything for now. So let's click on finish. And now it's gonna take a few moments to load this file. Please um, be patient. Okay, this is my file. I have three rows for each employee. Uh, first column is the employee ID, second phone type, third is phone number. So I have three rows per employee and because I wanted to save his or her phone number, uh, cell type, cell phone, home phone number and work phone number for every employee. So this uh, table is kind of table, um, it's called a long table, a few columns, more rows. And I want to convert it into a white table by splitting based on font um, type. So what I want to do, I want to have different columns for different kinds of phone numbers, one column for cell number, one column for home number, one column for work number. And these phone numbers would go under uh, different columns. And then I want to have one row per employee. So this is my goal. And uh, I would use the task of split columns for that to convert this white a long table into a white table. 
let's see how to do that. So I would choose the task. Uh, as I just mentioned, you can choose from the left if you have it. If you do not have it, it will be somewhere else. Uh, like just like uh, I have at the top uh, because I deleted mine from the left. It was there in the beginning. And um, so at the top uh, menu bar, uh, where you have file, edit, new programs, tool, help, I have this circle. I put my cursor on it and it tells me it's open a task. Single click on it, please. And then I would choose split columns from this drop down menu. I would uh, single click on it. And then um, <clears throat> from this wizard, I would choose employee ID as um, just you drag and drop it, um, group analysis by. If it's not uh, working, you could also use these arrows. Let me um, show you how to do that. So let's, I want font type as my uh, value identifier column. So I would just click on this arrow and value identified column. Okay, so it comes here. And now the third phone number, I'll just drag and drop it again underneath column to split. And after that, I do not need to change anything else here. Um, so let's just use this settings and click on run. And <clears throat> says is splitting that column for me. I will be um, patient again. Okay. Here is my white table. As you can see, it's in the format that I wanted. Um, one column per cell phone, um, per uh, font type, and uh, one row per employee. So um, I can also export this file into any format that I want. Uh, click on share, output data, and export. And then I can choose, I want to save it as an Excel file. So I will choose that. And then I can give it, um, let's keep this name for now. I can choose any location. So let's just save it on desktop for now and click on save. And I can minimize SAS and see, yes, here it is on my desktop. You can double click on it and this is your file. Uh, you can increase the width of columns so you can see the cell numbers. So this is how you split columns and also convert a long table into a wide table. And now you can close SAS. And this is the end of this video.